Alright guys, what's going on? Shell's back here on Black Ops 4. First live commentary game of the of the game really. I was gonna say of the series, but I think that sounds the right words. Yeah, so first game of the day here, I wasn't actually recording this, this is actually a post kind of live comp, but we are gonna live comment as I go through it again because I wanna actually watch the gameplay again and see different scenarios what I did right and what I did wrong. But um we'll see if let's get on. Here we go, and this map. This map to me, now this might sound crazy people, this reminds me, reminds me very much of Gustav Canyon. And no, it's not because of the snow, it's because the middle is just like, so the, actually no, it's the opposite of Gustav Canyon. Because the middle is, you want to avoid the middle at all costs in this map. Don't even bother with it, you want to stick to the sides. There is no point going into the middle of this map, it is an absolutely barren wasteland of nothingness. But, um, going out. This is my first time playing this map, it's definitely a interesting map as you see here, I'm trying to figure out what exactly I'm doing here. Uh, my PC actually turned off there, which is really frustrating, so I did die there pretty pretty poorly. I think that was, that was what's the, uh, okay, for some reason I can't get back to the uh, the game, but yeah, my PC logged out here, and for some reason turned off, I had to return it back on, and because my capture card's connected to my PC, if my PC's not on, I can't see the screen, hence why everything kind of goes wrong, and why you see me just waiting here to get going, but that happens, it happens to us all, so it's not too bad, but anyway, not happy with the suspect element this year. You know, you can't sprint with the inspect element, which I or inspect weapon. Um, that's a bit disappointing. I hope they change that. It's definitely something that I thought was really good for World of War World of War Two had. So hopefully they they bring it back. But yeah, it's good to get it's good to get to this game. It's the second day, obviously. Uh, I've just literally woken up today and pop the game in and, and see how things are going. So that was very close to me. If that hailstorm wasn't there, I'm not really sure I got that kill, but you see here, I'm trying to get a feel for the map. Obviously, starting to get a feel for the spawn here, this area here, and trying to feel it. okay, have a feel out for what I can do here. I push very aggressive here, and I get penalized by the guy using the grappling gun, which I probably should have taken the aim off the guy down there and gone for the guy with the grappling gun, but it happened so quickly. Your reaction time to change that, it's, it's near on impossible, but I definitely like this area of the map here, as you see it a lot and towards the end of the video, I'll definitely start using this area to uh, to maximise, you know, my kills here. Trying to get sight lines, kind of jump on those boxes and get, you know, are they there for coverage or are they there for a tactical reason? And definitely something I'm looking out for on certain maps this year, a little bit more than usual. You see here, using the swordfish, also the swordfish, if you guys have ever see it, unlock, definitely unlock. This thing is the absolute bomb. See here, there, I see the guy to the left. Or probably to the right or the left. I was find the. I was trying to go to cover, take him out, but I picked out the the wrong player here. You see, he's trying to test the different areas of the map again. You've got to you know test the boundaries of the maps. So you see here, I'm trying to get a feel for for the map. I probably won't check that that right corner very much unless it's you know potentially in a comp lobby or league play ranked whatever it's called this year. I probably will check it in that situation, but in pubs, I doubt it'd be too much. Anyway, this is definitely the side I think that. I, that I will probably excel at the most. I love this spot here is a good spot. You'll see here. Great bit aiming here. These guys lined up. That was a pretty unlucky not to get the kill there. I picked this kill up and that was a pretty you know it's not the end of the world. We'll take it, we'll pick it up and we'll move on. But I'm looking forward to trying the swordfish with quick draw, the reflex and uh, a bit of grip. I think that's gonna be very interesting to make things all the more juicy with it. So now you see it here, you see the guy in the spawn. I wanted to just re reposition here before I attacked him. He also disappeared there, so a bit annoying. We head back on another one here, and then you see. I don't know why I get that up. I should have continued on with that shot, but for some reason I decided to play the war machine. That doesn't mean I need to look at it again. I think that was not the right call. I think I should have held the war machine back, but. You know, we each can do different things differently, but maybe I was in the wrong there, but I don't know. It's a trick situation. It's definitely a difficult one to figure out what to do with. Nice shot there. Hellstorm coming in. It's good to have the hailstorm back. I actually enjoyed it. You see, I pick out the spawn. See the spawn. Boom. Three piece. Raining death metal. Love that. Decided let's go around the back here. Kind of realize this is the best way to flank around their spawn. Open pick up someone. That guy very nearly picked me out. But luckily enough, we're gonna come up here. Got the flank through, and my teammate also came around to pick up the spoils. So pretty much a dominant display from the from my team here. We're crowned the last 10 kills here, last 10 ticks. And a pretty dominating display by the team, you know, we're pretty much two for one nearly. Which is always a, a pretty handy objective to do. 
bit aggressive there and I pay the price you see the two players attack out of the of those oil refinery barrels whatever you call them but we're learning we're learning you know, something I've definitely got to I've got to figure out but it's something I've got to watch for as well and there you see it victory achieved with an eight so score in the end 20 kills seven deaths a good game uh, definitely a lot to learn from that game looking just looking back from that game I have to be like do you need to watch where I where I kind of set up a lot more? I do tend to leave myself open and cover not only just from view and kind of in certain areas, but definitely a lot to work on for myself. But anyway, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Enjoy your day.